Good morning, everyone. We're at the gym, or we, <laughs> we're not at the gym, we're walking. David recorded me at the gym, and I think I look really bad in it, but I'm going to put it in, because I'm vlogging and trying to be more authentic. I have this acne, but I'm not gonna let this stop me either. David's tired of me bringing it up. But, if you did not know, David and I are content creators outside of this Baby Perks platform. I have an Instagram slash TikTok at the librarian. I'll spell it out here. And David, as of today, is doing the soft launch with his best buddy, Clayton, for their Ales and Albums podcast, where they pair a album with a beer, and then they talk about it. So if you wanna watch either of those, fair warning, David and his friend cuss a little bit. So mom and grandma, maybe don't listen as much. But anyone else who's a friend, <laughs> You can listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, it's an Easter weekend vlog. I don't have too many big plans. Um, actually, I do actually. So that's why I'm vlogging because I have plans. I'm going to see my friend Madison Hadler who also has a podcast. Look at all of us in our communication skills. But I'm going to go get a brunch situation with her tomorrow. And then we're going to David's family's house on Sunday for Easter. So I'm going to take you along. It's supposed to rain all day Sunday, which is going to be bad for Marzen. But oh. oh. I, I tried to get the Marzen in the video, but I failed. Uh, it's going to be bad for Marzen because she likes being outside, but also good for Marzen because I'm sure David's mom will give her lots of ham. So, yay. Hello, everyone. It is 10 o'clock on Friday. I'm sitting at my desk and doing some editing. My wrist just popped really loud. I'm editing a 24-page guide that I project managed, which is very exciting. It was my original concept that I wanted to create I didn't have the capacity to use corporate jargon to make it happen, like writing all the content. So we use an outside content source to write the content. But now I'm going through and I mean, we've been editing it as we went, but now I have the design document back from the graphic designer and here's a sneak peek. You can't see it. When I lied, you're not gonna get a sneak peek, but it's really exciting to be able to like edit your work, you know, the thing that you envisioned and seeing it come to life. So I'm editing it now, sending it back to the content team so they can put some edits in and then we'll get it finalized and be able to promote it to go out. It is now the afternoon and I'm on my walking treadmill. I tried filming sideways and I almost fell, but I'm on the walking treadmill. This is my little walking desk and I have my standing desk with the cords here. And I'm working on a HubSpot training, which you know anything about HubSpot, it's like the marketers one stop shop to do a lot of things. So I'm doing a training right now, just having a slow afternoon. But yeah, this thing is really nice. We got it for David, but because he's been doing training for work, he's been a bit busy. So I brought it up here to see if I liked it. I've walked almost a mile or over a mile and a half now. I'm gonna turn it off because I also walked like two miles earlier. I'm actually really, really, really enjoying it. I think it'll be more beneficial on days without meetings. I had one meeting this morning and I felt kind of awkward because I was like moving, but a lot of people at my company have these, especially on the marketing team and sales team. I guess my VP of sales has one and then my boss has one in marketing and then someone on the R&D team have it. But I find it's nice just to get up and move and it kind of makes my brain, <laughs> my boss likes to say it makes your brain smarter. Um, I think it's just nice when I'm doing things like these, like trainings to be able to move my legs and do it. It, it lets me focus a little bit better. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm a little sweaty as you can see, but all is good. So I'm going to get off of this, lower my desk, sit down and knock out the rest of this afternoon. We're at Costco on our Friday night. Wahoo, David. Wahoo. We gotta get dog food. It's new day. I missed it. It's okay. We just got back from Price Chopper and Costco. Costco was all right. Price Chopper's beer selection isn't as great as Hy-Vee, so that was sad, but oh well. I was, at least we got all our groceries done. And David hurt his wrist, so now I have to unload the dishwasher. Not the dishwasher. The, what is it? The groceries? The groceries by myself while David plays with Marson. Uh -huh. David has been on, been on a poor wrist injury boy. I hurt my wrist before we went to OKC, and it hasn't really healed. Big sad. Uh -huh. We just watched a really bad movie called Vanished. I really didn't watch it. Taylor has no idea what happened, but basically <laughs> we pick a random genre and Taylor selects a movie and then I end up watching it and she does not. And I play on my phone. 
Mm-hmm. But that's it's always a genre I don't like. Mm-hmm. But I she always like, picks it. I usually like mystery. It was mystery this time, except that I want documentary mysteries. I want like serial killer murder. You could have picked that. No, you couldn't. There was nothing on there that I knew you would be interested in. So this is. I the mean, best she thought option. I was going to be interested in that, but wrong. I did my best. She failed, now, and that's the end of night one. Yeah, wait, I'm going to read my book. This is the second book in the series that book talk is going ham about, so it's like 600 pages. What are you going to do, David? Go good to point? bed. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's 6.40. Oh, my water fell on my foot. 6.48 a.m. and I woke up early so that we could get to the gym before I go to my little coffee date with Madison. So, yay. It's a cardio day. We're going to bike a lot on the elliptical. No, the elliptical. Oh, the stationary bike. And then run. And do some core. Core, yes. Which is my least, oh, I shook the camera over. It's my least favorite activity is core, but that's okay. A good workout. I'm excited for the latte I'm going to get in just a few hours. Update. David forgot his headphones and because it's cardio day he made us come back home so that he could get them. So now Morrison's mad. She's staring outside the fence looking sad. And now I'm showing David in his failure. She's sitting there waiting for us. I know. Sitting there waiting for us. You should have just gone to the gym by yourself. I thought I wanted to, but I didn't want to ask. Goodbye. Just when it's dark, it's day. Snoot day! Snoot day! Woohoo! Breakfast, we're having stuffed croissants. They have deli ham and thinly sliced provolone. They should be yummy. Today, David and I are repping the Jean Jacket gang yet again. Mm -hmm. Fit check, but in our guest bathroom. Ignore the mess. I'm getting ready for the brunch. Coffee. David, go. I'm wearing my Jean Jacket. From? Target. Mm -hmm. A blue shirt from probably Target. Jeans from, you guessed it, I think, Kohl's. <laughs> and then Fruit of Bloom socks. Ooh, and, and the hat Rochester. is... Nice. I am wearing a jean jacket also from Target, a new purchase that I featured for the first time in Oklahoma City. It's like 50 today. But I wanted to wear my Rochester t-shirt and then I have holy jeans from my friend Mackenzie who gifted them. I'm sorry to show my feet. Recut. I'm going to edit that out. I don't want you to see my feet. So I have black jeans on that have holes on them. I'm not going to show you them because I showed you my feet on accident in the earlier clip. So now I'm going to do my hair, do my makeup, and then Dave, what are you going to do while I'm gone? Well, it depends on how long you're gone. Mm. We'll see. Okay. Free. Okay, yay. Okay, I'm here with Madison. We're at McLean's. I always keep saying it. Mc, Mc, I don't know what I say. Yeah, Mc, McLean's. Yeah, but it's here and it's very cute and very busy, but very fun. Woohoo. Okay. So while Taylor was on her cute date, I watched TV while walking. I weed whacked. I read outside with Marzen. I went to Hy-Vee and bought Marzen yogurt. And then I went to the bookstore and bought a comic book store that's in our neighborhood that I haven't been to. That I've only driven by, but I've wanted to go. And I bought the Joker War saga. So I'll be reading that tonight. And that's what I've been up to. We've been reunited. Now we're going on a walk before, uh, before we go to the brewery. That's what we're doing, so yay. And Marson's happy I made her four different Kongs that are all getting frozen right now. So lots of things to chew on and eat and keep her busy while we're gone. I was a bad vlogger and I forgot to vlog. And the most exciting part of my, I mean, my meeting with Madison was the most exciting part of my day, but the second most important exciting part was going to Martin City's new location in Blue Springs, which if you don't know, Martin City is one of our favorite breweries. We wanted to get married there until they said that they weren't doing events anymore. We booked our new spot where we got married and they came back and they're like, we are doing events, but we already put the deposit down and everything. It's okay though, but 
regardless, they opened up their Blue Springs location, which Dave and I just came back from. So it's really good. David, what would you say? Very good. Good stuff. Anyway, we got home. I put on my comfy clothes because I'm humanly incapable of wearing jeans and other attire that are not sweatshirts and leggings at home. So David's cutting up some wood for a fire. Marzen is chewing on that wood. And now I'm gonna go read my book. Good morning, everyone. The con of me having short hair is that this happens whenever I try to pull back my hair, it doesn't fit. But I am making pancakes. I don't need to show you. It's Kodiak cakes with chocolate chips. And David is making some rice with bacon. I have my coffee and it's Easter Sunday. Right now I am just watching the Harry Styles Coachella performance because I didn't realize you could live stream Coachella if you weren't there, but also his set didn't go on until 3 a.m. on like Saturday. And you guys already know I'm not gonna stay up. I physically cannot do that. So I'm rewatching the re like the compilations back in my old, you know, One Direction days. That's what I used to do, is watch the YouTube videos afterwards. So that's what I'm doing now. And then we're going to go to the gym. I'm going to live stream a church service from the area. I haven't decided which one yet. There's a few different ones I've been researching on their websites. So we'll see what we do there. And then we're gonna go to David's parents' house. It's freezing outside, it's like 30, but we're gonna have a cute matching outfit day and I'll probably post a photo on Instagram. So yay, happy Easter. Hello all, we are back from the gym. We worked out for 75 minutes doing a leg day. It was way busier than I thought. I thought with Easter in this nice Baptist town, no one would be there, but everyone was there. So I don't know what that says about Blue Springs or us, but now we're gonna go shower and head over to David's parents. Woo woo. Bubble gum? Yeah. Wow. Gotta eat it. Yeah, you can get a cheap mushrooms. Hey, Walt. See that one? Uh, no. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. Marzo. She's living her best life. Mm -hmm. We're packing up and getting ready to go home. That's gonna end it for our Easter weekend vlog. We had a really good, fun day. I ate a lot of food that I didn't show in <laughs> the vlog, but David's mom is the best cook, so I feasted a lot. And Marzen played in the woods. She's very, very sleepy. She also ate approximately one pound of ham and a pound of cheese, so She's living her best life and I hope she falls asleep in the car. And now we're going to go home and put on our cozy warm PJs and get ready for the work week. See ya next time. Bye.